If you ask the question, I make expensive perfumes and do good perfumes have to be expensive, it depends on what your definition of good is. So um, I think with all things in life, our reference points are down to experience and they're down to nothing else. If you have never experienced the feeling of cashmere, then a rough wool is good for you. And you will look at the price ticket of expensive cashmere and just say that, it's expensive. The minute you touch cashmere and you wear cashmere, you understand why it is the price it is. I use some of the rarest raw materials in the world. The jasmine I use cost me twice the price of gold bullion. I use uh, one rose I use, the entire year's production is less than one day's production of Bulgarian rose. These materials cost me a lot of money. If they smelt exactly the same as a different jasmine or a different rose, I wouldn't spend all the money buying them because the customer would smell no different. So it's a very hard question to answer. I think once you have discovered luxury, it is very difficult to then accept something which is common. And so if you are lucky enough to drive in a Rolls Royce and you experience the leather and the fabulous sheepskin on the floor, I think uh, driving a Skoda might be very, very difficult.